Salutations, my lovelies. I am Rutenda Mifikite, and welcome to an episode of Spirituality. I hope you guys are having such a beautiful, blessed, filled, abundant, and fantastic day. On today's episode of Spirituality, I will be talking about my crystals, um, more specifically my favorite crystals and their healing properties, what I use them for, how I use them, and how I cleanse my crystals as well. So this first beautiful crystal that you guys see is called a picture jasper. A picture jasper is known as a crystal of vision. A picture jasper is an opaque chalcedony that comes in a variety of colors. The term jasper itself comes from the Greek word iaspi, meaning spotted stone. Among practitioners of gemstone healing, picture jasper is a powerful grounding crystal that promotes connection to the earth. Some view this crystal as a direct message from the earth itself, instilling a sense of proportion, bringing comfort, alleviating fear, and cultivating harmony. Although it is not an official birthstone, the picture jasper is affiliated with the astrological sign of Leo. Picture jaspers are soothing crystals that bring peace and serenity, providing comfort to those who are grieving due to the loss of someone. This is a crystal of creativity and deep thought. It can help with any life transition from birth to death, give you strength in making personal changes, and provide an extra boost in accomplishing goals. This crystal is connected to the Manipura Chakra, the third chakra is situated near the solar plexus. This energy center governs personal power and self-confidence. The tiger's eye crystal will assist in clearing imbalances within the Manipura. It will help you become the most powerful, self-assured version of yourself you can possibly be. The properties of this crystal will help you live more boldly, take on life more bravely, and attack challenges more fiercely. It's got your back and is a wonderful way to overcome fear and take more risks. A stone of protection. Tiger's eyes may also bring good luck to the wearer. The tiger's eye is a crystal that I literally carry every day. I love it because it genuinely makes me feel protect that I do my morning prayers I ask for protection from my guardian angels and then I just enhance all of that and feeling protected and having a reminder that I am protected by taking my my tigers out with me my third crystal is the Moroccan chalcedony guys this is my absolute favorite crystal ever the Moroccan chalcedony, also known as boomstone chalcedony nodules and chalcedony balls or rare botryoidal chalcedony clusters are only found in Morocco. They usually range in color from white to tan and even darker brown that almost looks burnt. Chalcedony nodules help when activate the root chakra and build a deeper connection with the Mother Earth. This connection helps one ground their energy, thoughts and emotions to this plane in order to slow your entire being. This chalcedony allows one to calm their daily way of life and become more in touch and in tune with themselves and their surroundings. As one's mind becomes clearer, they will come to terms with what is most important to them and their spiritual path. Chalcedony instills feelings of benevolence and generosity and may help alleviate hostilities, irritability, and melancholy. As it alleviates hostility, it can be used also to transform melancholy into joy. Guys, this is another crystal that I felt extremely connected to when I went crystal shopping. It was in a really difficult spot to find. I think it's a rare crystal. I'm not sure why, but um, I don't even know how I found this little shawl in a really specific tight corner and I saw this beautiful Moroccan Kilsidini and I just knew I had to have it. It was like a love at first sight. I use it every day during my meditation. I try not to be biased. I don't want to use it all the time and not use my other crystals. But um this is absolutely my favorite one. Grounding, healing, calming, reminding myself of the beauty that life is every single 
thing that I need, <clears throat> excuse me, every single thing that I need, I source from this crystal. Um, yeah, gentle reminders, meditation, feeling, feeling a bit down, I meditate with it uplift my my mood or when i clean my crystal and i claim them it's just it's just a really gorgeous crystal guys and i totally love my crystal my fourth crystal is another absolute favorite it's called a fairy quartz crystal a fairy quartz is known as a baby spirit quartz that exhibits milky white points covered with small crystals and crustaceans on the surface if you want to inject more feelings of happiness and joy in your life, fairy quartz should be included in your crystal collection. Fairy quartz also has the ability to recharge and cleanse your personal auric field. All the negative energies are washed away, making room for more positive energies. This crystal is also used to remove more, just remove energy disturbances, replacing them with more peaceful and stable energies that keep disharmony away. As spirit quartz is a stone of harmony, it can help to create peace in any situation. It takes closed and locked in behavior and encourages a sense of openness and connection, helping to deepen relationships and wash away any lingering feelings of loneliness. As the name would suggest, the spirit quartz is here for all kinds of etheric vibes. From your root to your solar plexus, your heart and your crown chakra, this crystal brings its high vibrations to clear out negative energy and fill you right up with universal love. This crystal can help with everything from astral travel to dream work, rebirthing and heightening psychic protection. The Fairy Quartz Crystal is perfect for anyone who wants to propel themselves forward on the path of your spiritual growth. It is also a good gemstone for those born under the banner of Pisces and Capricorn. Pisces are all about reflection and seeking harmony between the external world and what sits within their hearts. They are spiritual and intuitive and the Fairy Quartz nourishes and strengthens all those things. Capricorns will also benefit from this crystal. This beautiful purple crystal is called an amethyst. Amethyst crystals are connected to the third eye and crown chakras. The purple color to reddish purple hues of amethyst have long been a symbol of peace, cleansing and calming energy. An amethyst is believed to have healing properties that protect the bearer against negative energies. It is held in high regard in the spiritual circles and can initiate wisdom and increase intelligence through a greater sense of understanding. This crystal can help you apply your intellectual powers in challenging situations and think more clearly to make better choices. This amethyst is a traditional and modern birdstone for February. The crystal is believed to strengthen relationship and gives the wearer more courage. It also brings the wearer more clarity. This purple gem is also thought to have wonderful positive effects of creativity and imaginative powers by enhancing intuition. I also love the fact that with an amethyst it helps when you're struggling with sleeping, like especially me sometimes I'll feel a little bit of insomnia, like I really can't sleep. And what I do is I play really calming music, maybe meditation music, and then I put my really small amethysts, like these are tiny ones, under my pillow, and they really help with my ability to sleep. So that's one really amazing property that I appreciate. This crystal is called a sodalite crystal. One of the most interesting and unique blue gemstones is undoubtedly the sodalite. This crystal is associated with the zodiac sign Sagittarius and the planet association is the moon. Due to its incredible hues from its deep blue color, this crystal is paired with elements of water and air. The metaphysical properties of the stone are primarily its ability to provide you with the power to communicate effectively. It enhances your ability to speak the truth of your emotions, follow your intuition to allow you to be objective 
and to encourage rational thoughts. It is able to reduce panic attacks and enhance your ability to express yourself. The chakra associated with the sodalite is the third chakra as well as the third eye chakra. It has a vibration of number four and this crystal is able to assist with balancing metabolism and is also able to treat areas in the body including the throat, vocal cords and assist with other digestive disorders. Guys, this is another favorite. Um, I got my soda life from Sun City. Um, I also have a necklace. Like I have a necklace, um, polished version of my of the soda light crystal, and I wear it almost every day. Everywhere I go, it's absolutely beautiful, and its vibrations are insanely calming and filling. And every time I wear it, I just have a really good day. I mean. One can have a good day regardless of, but it enhances all the love I have, all the good energy I have, all the happiness I have, and just um, perpetuates it throughout the day. This last gorgeous enchanting crystal is called a celestite. The flutter of angel wings, the color of the morning sky, and the moment before the dawn, and humming with new age vibrations, celestite certainly is the stuff of dreams. Coming from the Latin word celestis, which means celestial, celestite is all about inner peace, quiet space, and elevating the spirit. It's a stone that whispers of deep connection with the other arms. With its ethereal energy and distinct heavenly use, celestite is one of the loveliest sky blue gemstones in the world. That is absolutely a fact, guys. It is gorgeous. Celestite is radiant with spiritual healing and can help you on the path to peace. Celestite works most closely with the third eye chakra, also known as, An as Anja. This chakra is connected to wisdom, understanding, and elevated levels of consciousness. It also works very closely with your pituitary gland, which is responsible for regulation of serotonin, the wildly popular happy hormone. Celestite complements Libra for improving celestite for improving emotional clarity. Libra's strength is in the heart chakra. Celestite and its accompanying association can encourage Libra to understand their emotions. Celestite also complements Gemini for improving self-acceptance. Gemini's strength is in the third chakra, um, the chakra or the chakra of communication. Accompanied by meditation practice, Celestite Accompanied by meditation, the celestite crystal can encourage great communicators to have enough understanding and knowledge to sell, of self to guide others. Okay guys, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for showing up and coming to watch this video, for spending your time with me, for sharing your time with me, for being present. I love and appreciate you so much. Please continue to be the beacon of light that you are in this beautiful world. And I'll see you in a video soon. Bye guys.